guys. Uh, good evening. Now, uh, my name is Elizabeth Hernandez. I'm a freshman studying systems engineering, and I am running to be your future Science Day Vice President. I love helping kids. I've loved helping kids ever since I was a kid myself. I love teaching them and talking with them, but my passion is not paved with an easy road. Have you guys ever tried talking with a seventh grader for two minutes and holding their conversation, like holding their attention the entire time? I say it's more difficult than talking to any authority figure I've ever worked with. But when I joined SHIP at the beginning of the school year, I was really excited to participate in as many outreach events as I could. So when the committees for Science Day rolled around, I was beyond eager to help. I went to almost every meeting. I even dragged some friends with me. Um, I pitched to the discussions, signed up to help with the egg drop, uh, egg drop activity, and planned my entire schedule around the event. I was willing to do anything to be there. When Science Day rolled around and the kids arrived, I was literally bouncing up and down with energy. I was so excited to tell the kids the physics, physics behind why some eggs broke and why some survived, and uh, to get them pumped up for the comp competition of the activity. The teachers asked me if I was in charge of the activity. Of course I said no, I wasn't. But it really got me thinking about not only my ability to run that one event, but all of Science Day itself. I have what it takes to run Science Day. When working in groups, I stay on task while also validating everyone's opinions and perspectives. So I could run the prep committees with smooth success. In addition, my good communication skills make me confident in my ability to reach out to sponsors for funds and to school leaders for participation commitment. I've been a math tutor and a TA for various middle schools for over five years. So I'm familiar with which educational activities middle schoolers find entertaining which they find overwhelming, and which they just find plain boring. Middle schoolers are very concrete. So as Science Day Vice President, I would implement activities that would relate to real world events and objects, or else the kids will quickly lose interest and be reluctant to participate. Not only that, I will be smart about the time length of each activity. Giving the kids too much time will inevitably make them bored once they're done. And regaining their interest within the same time frame of the one activity is no easy feat but giving them too little time will make them overwhelmed, uh, tense, and disruptive. Finding a balance between the two is key, and that's what I would do. Lastly, I would encourage all volunteers to showcase their excitement for STEM to the kids, because even though middle schoolers already think that like college kids are super cool, they thrive off of first impressions. So, um, so, helping, um, so keeping that initial mindset is really important, and I would do that by example. And I was supposed to have a little party, but I couldn't find one at CBS, so. <laughs> <laughs> However, my most important qualification for this part is that I loved working for and at Science Day. So when I was granted the opportunity to run for the position of Science Day VP, I eagerly jumped at the chance. So here I am giving this very speech. So again, my name is Elizabeth Hernandez, and I believe I have the passion commitment, enthusiasm, and leadership skills to become SHIP's next Science Day Vice President, and I hope you feel the same way and grab me your vote. Thank you.